South Korea's military said North Korea disrupted GPS signals from border areas for the second straight day on Saturday, affecting an unspecified number of flights and vessel operations. Tensions between the rival Koreas have escalated as North Korean leader Kim Jong-un flaunts his advancing nuclear and missile program and engages in electronic and psychological warfare, such as flying thousands of balloons to drop trash and anti-South Korean propaganda leaflets in the South. South Korea's Joint Chiefs of Staff said North Korean operations to manipulate GPS signals were detected from around the western border city of Kaesong and the nearby city of Haiju on Friday and Saturday and said the activities disrupted dozens of civilian aircraft and several vessels. While warning aircraft and vessels near western border areas, South Korea's military did not specify how North Korea was interfering with GPS signals or detail the extent of the disruptions. We urge North Korea to stop GPS interference provocations immediately and strongly warn that it will be held fully accountable for any resulting consequences. The South's Joint Chiefs said in a statement, North Korea's GPS signal disruptions and balloon campaigns highlight the vulnerability of South Korea's Incheon International Airport, its main transportation gateway. Analyst Suk Joon Yoon recently wrote on the North Korea-focused 38 North website. The airport, which carries 56 million people and 3.6 million tons of cargo annually, is less than 100 kilometers from North Korea. No major aviation incidents have resulted to date, but GPS interference can endanger commercial airlines flying in poor visibility and it is a violation of international conventions on navigational safety. Yoon wrote, he said that in 2024, North Korean trash balloons halted the airport's runway operations 12 different times for a total of 265 minutes. Kim has shown more hostility this year towards Seoul's conservative government. South Korean officials say North Korean activities to disrupt GPS signals from western border regions increased as the country began launching trash-carrying balloons toward the South in late May, which the North described as a retaliation against South Korean civilian activists flying anti-North Korean propaganda leaflets across the border. Russia is open to hearing President-elect Donald Trump's proposals on ending the war, an official said. Russian Deputy Foreign Minister Sergei Ryabkov said Moscow and Washington were exchanging signals on Ukraine via closed channels. He did not specify whether the communication was with the current administration or Trump and members of his incoming administration. Russia is ready to listen to Trump's proposals on Ukraine provided these were ideas on how to move forward in the area of settlement, and not in the area of further pumping the Kiev regime with all kinds of aid, Ryabkov said Saturday in an interview with Russian state news agency Interfax. A further 32 Russian drones were shot down over 10 Ukrainian regions, while 18 were lost, according to Ukraine's air force, likely having been electronically jammed. A Russian aerial bomb struck a busy highway overnight in the northeastern Kharkiv province, Kharkiv Mayor Ayer Terekhov said. No casualties were reported. Russia is mounting an intensified aerial campaign, prompting Ukrainian officials to ask for more Western help. However, doubts are deepening over what Kiev can expect from a new U.S. administration. Trump has repeatedly taken issue with U.S. aid to Ukraine, made vague vows to end the war and has praised Russian President Vladimir Putin. EU foreign policy chief Josep Borrell, however, reassured Ukraine of European support during a visit to Kiev on Saturday. EU support to Ukraine has been my personal priority during my mandate and will remain on top of the EU's agenda, he wrote on X. In Russia, the defense ministry said 50 Ukrainian drones were destroyed over seven Russian regions, more than half over the Bryansk region, bordering Ukraine. Drones belonging to the Ukrainian Defense Ministry Security Service and Special Operations Forces launched an attack on Russia's Tula region on the night leading to November 9. 
The Ukrainian media reported this with reference to a source within the Ukrainian security service. The attack targeted the chemical plant in the city of Alexin. The enterprise that is owned by Rostex Corporation produces necessary materials, ammunition and gunpowder for the Russian military industrial complex. According to the reports circulated by local telegram channels, the attack was launched at around 3 in the morning. Apart from the chemical plant, Ukrainian drones also moved towards the mechanical plant. As a result of drone strikes, an explosion occurred in the territory of the chemical plant. Fire engines have been brought to the area. No casualties have been reported. According to Russian reports, an air defense system was activated and that the drones were shot down.